New days make new men, as they say. And if they don't say that, they should, because today is a new day, and I feel like a new man. It is incredible what nine hours of sleep and a full belly will do for your recovery. Now, we didn't decide to continue on with our crazy plan to finish out Evolution Valley, Evolution Basin, Doozy Basin, Bishop Pass. It just would have been way too much. 16 mile days each day. So we're sticking with plan B, which is to cruise up on the Darwin bench over, over, what is it called? Lamarck, which was to cruise up onto Darwin Bench and then tomorrow go over Lamarck Coal back down to North Lake. And I'm not gonna bore you with the details of today's hike. We basically slept in. Ryan was able to repair his poles with some duct tape. We hiked through the forest and then climbed, climbed, climbed up, reached a spur trail off the main JMT and kept climbing up here to Darwin Bench past innumerable cascades and wildflowers and beautiful vistas of all kinds. It wasn't hard and I am tired, but we got our camp set up by 1.30 and I was down for a nap like that. Now it's already getting on towards sunset, so I'm gonna move back down the valley towards some incredible views of mountains with a river running right underneath them. I hope you can hear me over the wind and the sound of that waterfall. I'm heading down to a place lower in the basin where, as I mentioned, the creek forms this big, broad curve and it looks out across the valley to the far mountains beyond. But just coming down the hill, I stumbled across this waterfall here, which I didn't really pay as much attention to on the way up, probably because I was staring down at my feet sucking dust. But what I love about this is the alignment between the water coming off these cascades and the mountain in the background is called Emerald Peak. The way that I'm approaching this photograph, you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on. This is a very busy scene. It's just a lot of stuff in the landscape. So I really need to simplify this as much as possible in order to make it an effective composition. So I'm gonna really try to focus on just the waterfall, excluding all the extraneous stuff, just the mountain in the background, and then some sky for presence. just keeps getting better and better. These are the nights of photography that you live for in the Sierra. Look at that sky. Look at those reflections. It's the kind of night that makes you giddy to be a photographer. Sometimes, I have to admit, the Sierra makes it almost too easy to be a photographer. Check out that incredible view looking back out over Evolution Valley at the Hermit, at Emerald Peak, and of course you have this wonderful creek flowing out here creating beautiful reflections and leading lines off into the distance. This is where I wanted to come to shoot the sunset. Now I'm gonna roam around and try to find a composition that really speaks to me. All right, so here's my first composition of the evening, and let me explain a little bit about what's going on here. To me, this composition is all about symmetry. You've got this nice point in the mountain being echoed with the opposite shape here in the grass, and you have all the shapes of the rocks here in the foreground being echoed with the shapes of the clouds in the sky. So that's why I've placed the mountain exactly in the middle of the frame with the horizon exactly in the middle of the frame, because of all of this symmetry, the mirroring between the elements down here and the elements up there. So for my second composition tonight, I've gone in much tighter, just on the mountains way out there that I really love that have that beautiful light splashing across their flank. 
So I actually zoomed in to 70 millimeters and then I stopped down to F16 just to make sure I had enough depth of field so I could get a really tight portrait of that mountain with the stream as a nice little leading line going off into the distance. And now the light is just blowing up in every direction, so I'm gonna put on the wide angle and I'm gonna start shooting like a crazy person. Does it get much better than this? No, no it doesn't. Let me show you guys something. This is happening all the way around. <laughs> yeah! Oh yeah! That was ridiculous. That was just banger city. I don't know how many keeper shots I got tonight, but it was at least more than zero. And check it out, it is still just glowing. There's color everywhere in the sky still. This is one of those great glorious gifts from the gods of the Sierra Nevada. And I say to them, thank you. Well, that's gonna call it quits for tonight. Time to grab some chicken Alfredo and head to bed. Good morning, everybody. See, I'm properly kitted up here from head to toe. It's not so much that it's cold out here, it's just that it's windy and the wind has a bite. And that wind, well, is responsible for me having Maybe not the best night's sleep I've ever had, but when I woke up this morning, I was treated to the rarest. I reckon it's getting a little bit too windy to record. I gotta head back to the tent. All right, that's a lot better. As I was saying, when I woke up this morning, I was treated to that most rare of rare gems here in the Sierra, a beautiful sunrise. There's almost never cloud at sunrise here in the summertime in the Sierra. This morning we had lovely pinks. There was even some true alpine glow up on the mountains up here. Just getting too windy to keep filming that last spot. So I had to jump forward in time about three hours to film this interlude. The sunrise was lovely, but it started to get cold and blustery. So I headed back to camp, packed up, ate some breakfast, and then we had to vamoose. Time to get the F out of Dodge. It's kind of a grim, joyless day so far today. Just the wind blowing. And now we got 14, 1500 feet to go straight up this shit pile. Oh, <laughs> holy crap, man. What a stout climb. Really fun, though. And I know my eyes just won't stop producing fluid. It's just dripping like crazy. It's howling wind, it's howling like a wildcat up there. We just popped up out of the park. We're here at Lamarck Cole, 13,000 feet. We're looking out back to the Owens Valley here. 
amazing view. Now we just gotta bomb down five miles or so back to the car. And well, this seems like as good a place as any to end this video with our final view of Lamarck Cole in the background. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it, enjoyed the photography. If you liked this video, please subscribe, share it with your friends, all that kind of good stuff really helps me out. Here's wishing you guys lots of wonderful adventures of your own. Until next time, have fun and happy shooting.